Hey, this is installing an alternator on a VW older model. This is a Polo from 96. So this is the alternator. This is the type I'm installing today. Okay. And here is the place it goes in. This is just a spring that tensions. Tensions the alternator. Okay, so let's see how we'll go about installing it. This is the alternator. So you basically just take your screw that goes here like that. You take it, you fish it through. It's really difficult to do with one hand while filming. The spring has got a little divot in there that goes in. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to use two hands. I'll just explain it later. Okay, so what you wanna do is put the alternator into this bracket here using two hands, I've tried with one hand, it doesn't work and then insert this screw this is the first step just wiggle it and insert this screw it will go in eventually, it's a tight fit but it will go in then snug this screw a little bit but not so much that it won't be able to move and remember, this alternator sits on, on the spring. I'm going to try and show it to you. There, it sits on that spring there. And there's another screw. It needs to go right there. It's right about there. Okay, but first... Let's snug this screw up a little bit. It's a 13 mil millimeter socket. Okay, it's just snug, but it still moves. Make sure it sits well on the spring. After you have it set, remember to put your belt. Over this rotor here. You, you'll want to use, well, a lot of strength. You're going to need either a pry bar or someone really strong to lean on this part. It will compress the string and it will allow you to put the bel belt back on. I have, a, I have a pry bar, which I'll use. I'll just do that. It will compress the spring. But I'm gonna need two hands. I'll be back. Okay, so I managed to put the belt back on. All I did was, as I showed you, I put some pressure. And it worked. Okay, so now it is pretty tight. It's as tight as it has to be. We're gonna have to put another screw in, another bolt from the bottom side.
that is also a 13 millimeter wrench or socket whatever we're gonna tighten that up and then this and then this screw here after that we're gonna connect the leads it's got one that looks like this and it inserts right into here this other connector which goes here and then there's just something to hold it in place which goes right here after everything is done what I told you this, this just snaps in after everything I told you then what you want to do is connect the battery remember never work on the alternator without disconnecting the battery first this is what you have to begin with after that just check it with the multimeter meter make sure it works okay I'm gonna need two hands for this so see you bye okay it's all done this screw is tightened up the bottom the bottom one is tightened up too the belt is in place the leads are connected all I need to do now is connect the battery and start it up and then you just check it with the multimeter that's gonna be another video the next one I guess Okay, bye.